Joining me this morning is Tony Peter, just to give his comments on his runners for Saturday the 21st of, 1st of September on the Turpentine Ensign track. Tony, you start in race one, it's a graduation plate over the 1,000 metres. You've got Taxi to the Moon with Gavin aboard drawn five. Yeah, Taxi to the Moon is a very talented horse, still very immature, but he seems to be getting better with each run. Um, he, the race never mapped out last time. Um, he was kept out wide and had to uh, uh, try over, come to get on the rail, and I think he just went a bit too hard. He's dropping down to the 1,000 now, which I think uh, won't be a problem. His work's been very, very good, and uh, I'm expecting a big run from him. Then in race three, it's a maiden plate over the 1,200 metres. You've got Sea Wolf with Chase aboard. Yeah, Sea Wolf's a nice horse. Uh, we are a bit disappointed on on debut, but Calvin came back and said he was very, very cultish, and uh, at no stage did he put his mind on the job, so uh, we, we gelded him after that run. I've been battling to get a draw with him. Uh, there's a lot of racing on the inside track. S draw seven, although it's not a bad draw for a horse that's lightly raced, uh, sometimes uh, can take its toll. Um, he might just need the run as well. Uh, I'm just uh, hoping for a forward run because I do think he's got ability. Then in race four, it's a maiden plate for the three-year-olds over the 1,800 metres. You've got Roman's Revenge with Calvin aboard. Yeah, Roman's revenge, uh, I think he's uh, overdue a win now. Calvin seems to think he let him go slightly too early last time. Uh, he'll he'll know what to do this time around, and um, his work's been good. Uh, I think he'll go very, very close to winning. Then in race six, it's a Phillies and Mares 94 handicap over the 1,200. You've got two runners here. You've got Vix Princess and Where's the Party? Yeah, this is a race that was added on. Um, it wasn't in the program initially, so uh, we decided to take our chances with these two fillies. Where's the parties in a rich vein of form? She won a really nice race the other day uh, in, in, in a feature. Uh, she doesn't have the best draw, although it's six horses. Um, it could get a bit tricky. Uh, if she overcomes a draw, I think she'll be a big runner. Fix Princess, uh, I think she's at her best over 14 50 but um, in a small field like this and she's a filly that does go quite handy she she could actually enjoy a race like this so I think they must both be included uh, in all bets. Then in race 9 it's a MR74 handicap over the mile you've got Shinto Shrine with Calvin aboard very consistent this horse. Yeah a lovely horse just very mentally immature uh, he seems to want to uh, lean on horses and lag in behind horses so we've uh, Calvin's uh, opted that we put a small pair of blinkers on him we've worked him, he worked really well with the blinkers and uh, if he gets his mind on the job uh, I know it's quite a bit of a hot field uh, there's a nice smart horse in Confederate but um, I think we should be in the first three Thank you so much for your time Thanks Rick.